demonstrate the Grendel two-track analog controller. Since it's a CV gate sequencer with two channels of output, it makes a nice combination with the Grendel RA99 Grenadier. Basic idea of, of the Grendel two-tack controller is that you have a keyboard mode where you can play the keys in real time. There are four notes per pattern and you can tune them individually with the tuner above the pad. So let's patch the output of track one to the synthesizer. And now you'll hear... <coughs> pattern mode, those are the notes that are assigned to pattern one. Now here's pattern two, it has a different set of notes. And here's pattern three. These are just randomly generated. It does have a random generation mode, so I'm going to overwrite some of these randomly generated patterns and try to make something interesting, and that'll give me a chance to demonstrate some of the pattern editing functions that are built into this device. So what do we have for track one, pattern one? Let's play it. So you can look at the notes while they're playing by switching to keyboard mode. And you can tune those while it's playing or while it's stopped. I'll give you an example of changing the tuning of that pattern without affecting the sequence itself. crazy town, screwed the pitches up in that pattern, but you can restore them to undo changes. You can go into edit mode, holding edit, and then exiting edit mode by rotating the mode switch will undo the last changes. So here we go, back with our original set of pitches. <laughs> going to take that pattern and uh, make some variations on it by overriding these other three patterns that we're not interested in. And go into pattern tools mode by holding edit and first thing we'll do is we'll make a copy of that pattern and to copy it you hold the source key and double tap the destination key. So I'm going to copy pattern one to pattern two. Now that's been copied and let's say I want this copy to be transposed up three semitones. You can do that by rotating the tuner above that pattern I'm going to click it up three semitones and we'll exit and save. Now let's see what we did. Here's the original. And here's the copy that's been transposed. Suppose we wanted to make a chain or a loop of those two patterns. The way to do that is to hold loop and then you tap in the sequence that you want. So if I want pattern one to play twice, followed by pattern two playing twice, and then repeat, I do it like this. One, two, one, two. And then to make it a loop, you tap edit before letting off the loop button. Now you can see that a pattern chain has been programmed because of the, the half-lit LEDs show you all the patterns that are contained in the loop. That chain will keep on playing until we cancel it. The way to cancel the chain is just hold the loop button, then don't press anything else, then let go. Now we've uh, canceled that last chain. And let's do some more manipulations. There's another function called pattern copy with time stretch. Let's experiment with that. Go into pattern tools mode. And pattern copy with time stretch is done by holding the key of the source pattern. Then you rotate its tuner to tell the time stretch factor. And then double tap the destination to write it in. 
So let's say I want to hear devil time version of that same riff. Hold the source, click the tuner clockwise once, then double tap the destination. And we'll just save and exit. Now here's what we got. version of it. Well, that's interesting. Let's instead slow it down, make a, a slower copy of the original riff. So back into pattern tools mode, hold the source key, rotate it counterclockwise, and we'll write it to the same spot. And what do we get this time? Let me turn on the metronome so we can hear the, the beats. copy even deeper in tone so I can just transpose it down by rotating its tuner go down by two semitones and hear the difference here's the original Pressing the tuner down while you rotate it shifts pitch in octave increments. So now it's a full octave low. So it's a, what we've done here is take the original pattern, make a half time copy that's been transposed down a full octave. Now what if we then sped this, this slowed down one back up again by a different factor? So real time edit mode, hold the key, Let's click it up twice to make it play. Make some something odd here. Now it's going to be sped up, and we'll copy to that pattern location. And maybe I'll I'll adjust the tuning as well. So up a full octave. So here's the the warp speed version, or something. <laughs> pattern copy with time stretch function. When you speed up, sometimes it makes a temporary loop point. Watch the Q LED of track one while it's playing. And you'll see the temporary loop point indicated by that LED going dim momentarily. Generating a random pattern for pattern four of track one. Generate random pattern is to hold stop, hold play, and then double tap the key. Now this is a pattern with random events, random pitches, and random length. And what do we end up with? Sticky Patterns feature. Sticky Patterns lets you select multiple patterns at once with one in the foreground and others in the background. And when there are rests in the foreground pattern, the overlapping events from the background patterns fill up those gaps. Let's hear our original pattern. <laughs> Sticky 
Sticky patterns are automatically canceled whenever you press stop in the transport. Let's see, there's one more function in pattern tools I want to show you, and that is pattern rotate, where you can shift all the events in a pattern forward or backward by any number of steps. Let's uh, look at patterns one and two here that we've developed. Pattern one, and it's transposed copy. What I'm going to do next is to shift that pattern two by a few grid steps backwards. The way to do that is go into Pattern Tools, hold the key, and then tap Q arrows. So that's been shifted backwards. Now let's hear them together. see now that those two patterns are on different rhythm grids or one of them has been offset in time I and mean, we've mashed them together with sticky patterns let's see what we got going on in pattern four here it was a randomly generated one <laughs> seems to be off of the rhythm grid. It has a feel that doesn't coincide with the downbeat, so I can alter that in real time. Let's go to Pattern Tools, Delay, Turn Metronome, and use that Pattern Rotate to alt align it with the grid. It seems like it fits in with the grid a little better. Maybe we could make the notes in it more in the same key as the rest of the three patterns we developed. So one way to change the, the pitches in a pattern without altering the sequence is to copy the pitches. And that's simply done by holding the source tuner and then double tapping the destination tuner. So if we want to apply the pitches from pattern one to pattern four, we do it like this. And now this has the same sequence that it did, but the pitches are altered. set of pitches and I want to save it, I just simply go into edit mode and exit edit mode again by holding the edit save button. So now we've got four patterns that are all a little bit different and let's just mash them together and see what we can do. <laughs> Thank you. 
sums up all the pattern editing tools we've got in this unit. And uh, next we're going to move ahead and show you some of the things you can do by using both tracks of CV output. Track two. For track two, let's make something interesting out of this. So I'm just going to clear this pattern. Now it's cleared. Now we'll write something for it. And now I'm in step edit mode, you can see, because I'm this mode switch is on keyboard. We're editing the pattern on track two. When I push stop, it navigates to the first step in the sequence. So we'll play this note on the first step. Let's go to the next step and play that note. Go to the next step, play that note. Go to the next step and play that note. And since that's the last step, we're only going to have four steps in this pattern, so I'll just double tap loop. Now we should be cycling through those while it's playing. See, the two pitches are mixed because I'm taking the CV off the track two and it's being summed with Thank you. 